the reason why I'm creating a vision board. Let's talk about it. Turn it in a mouth. Turn it in a mouth. Stack. Flip it. Turn it in a mouth. La. Go get that dough and we gon' turn it in a mouth. Free up and slow and we gon' turn it in a mouth. We make that cash flow and then we turn it in a mouth. No, we ain't running low cause we gon' turn it in a mouth. Hey, what up, what up, my turn it in a mo? Found. It's your boy Southside Black, turning in the mo. I want to come on here today and talk about why I'm creating a vision board. And it may help you decide on whether you want to make one or not, which I would recommend. So, like I said, let's talk about it. Now, when it comes to achieving goals and stuff, like uh, manifestation, like, you 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 have to keep your goals in front of you. You have to constantly be reminded of your goals, constantly be thinking of your goals and the end result of your goal. You know what I'm saying? Like a, a perfect example of um I ain't gonna say perfect, but one great example of the reason why that is is because what I got out of uh Stephen Covey, uh the seven Seven steps of highly effective people. It's called a funeral test, right? So basically, at the end of your life, what would you want people to say about you? Oh, oh, from from your sister to your 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 partner to your 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 your, your whoever, you know what I'm saying, in your life that know you or whoever you impacted, what would you want the world to say about you? Pretty much, you know what I'm saying? So that's beginning with the end in mind, because from there you can work, uh, what, backwards, I guess. So from there you can work backwards because you know what the end result gonna be, and it's kind of the same way. And like I once said, it's like getting in the car, and if you don't have no destination, then you gonna just be like roaming around. You know, you run into a, a dead end, you don't know which way to. Hey, but if you know where you're going, then you're going to have a general idea on the direction that you need to head to. But without like a, a destination, you don't really, you're just going to be roaming around in a car, like, you know, with no destination. Before you know it, you're going to be ran out of gas and that gas equal up to our time, you know, before you know you're going to be ran out of time. So having a clear goal. Is, is absolutely important. And the reason why I'm making one is because that the, the vision board is because it, it helps like remind you of your goals throughout the day. So when you see this, you're like, okay, well, yeah, like, um, you know, I know I'm, I'm making this happen. This is what I'm working towards. And, you know, when, when it's some stuff might be going on and you might be like, oh, somebody invite you to something. But you got something else that you need to be doing toward working towards your goals. You gonna have to choose. You know what I'm saying? You might have to choose because you might not have time to do both. So you might have to sacrifice. You know, like, well, I ain't gonna be able to do this because I got this going on. But if you be forgetting about the main goal all the time because you distracted by work and this and that, you know what I'm saying? Friends, whatever. You be forgetting about that all the time. You ain't going to make those decisions like that because you're going to be forgot about it. You're going to be getting distracted and stuff like that. So uh, it's the same, you know, the same way. Like I, uh, for example, with, uh, let's just say me with, with music, but of course I'm always doing that. But let's just say me with music or something uh, with, with my YouTube channel. So if I got a thing with, uh, my goal for subscribers or something being a million subscribers and I create or well, write whatever one million turn it into more TV. Um, so then I could just uh, I constantly see that and that'll be a reminder. So you know, it might be you know, I, I might not be feeling like um, doing a video or I might be too busy and I'm like, well. Maybe I could skip this week or something like that. Or maybe, you know, I could wait two weeks or a month 
take a break from it. And that'll be a constant reminder. Like, if you want those results, then you got to do that work. You know what I'm saying? So it's like that, you know, really like, um, and, and, and more than that, it's like, um, and let me get this other example too. Cause it's like me with, with acting and stuff too. So I put a, I, I took a picture in Cali with my name on the stars, like they sell a little thing or whatever. So I took that picture and that's a, that's a, uh, that's going to help me manifest that goal because it's like, well, I'm, that's going to be a constant reminder of that. And when I see that and let's just say I'm always being reminded of that and I might see, uh, um, or I might be looking up something or something and see something about an audition or something. But if I'm not being reminded of that, if I'm not looking for that and trying to achieve that, then, you know, I wouldn't click that. Or, or let's just say I'm searching up some stuff about auditions in Baton Rouge or something. I might uh, see it one day and just think, let me see if they got some auditions down here. And they just so happen to have some. Bing. And I go to that audition and that audition, you know, uh, let's just say I don't make it, but I ended up meeting somebody who uh who I get an opportunity to to work with later on or something like that and that's how it happened. But if I wouldn't have been focused on that then it wouldn't ever happen. So it just it just help you stay focused. You know what I'm saying? It help you stay focused on the main goal. Keeping your uh goals in front of you, your main goals in front of you. Cause like I said, we have a lot of distractions, you know, especially nowadays with social media and stuff like that. So um that's why I'm creating one. And um, I I believe it'll be very beneficial for for y'all to create one too. You know, it's called a vision board. So put um, you know, pictures or little small notes or whatever to help remind you of your goals. And um, put it somewhere that's that you that you spend the most time with in in your house that you spend the most time at. You know what I'm saying? Of course, I spend the most time right here my computer and um stuff like that. So that's why I spend the most time at when I'm home. And uh I say doing that is gonna be a constant reminder. It's gonna help you keep going and stuff like that too. You know what I'm saying? If you might be going through some things, it'll help you do all that. You know what I'm saying? And uh um on Think and Grow Rich, which is a you know great book. It help you with like manifestation and things like that. You think and grow rich. Um, I'm going through that book for like the second time, I want to say, but, um, I'm listening to the audio book this time, but anyway, like he talking about kind of the same thing I'm talking about, but you know, like having that faith and being persistent, uh, of course. And, but like visualizing your goals and stuff and, and putting the emotions behind it, like visualize yourself, uh, uh, with, the, uh, whatever it is that you want, you know, if it's if it's money or what is a, a house, visualizing that you have that in your possession, and um, p uh, attaching the emotions and stuff with it too. So that's like helping with that too, because he tell you to visualize it, so that'll make it easy because you can look at your vision board and be like, and go from there. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause you already know how it look. So I say that's why I'm doing it. You know, I may need some help if somebody that's already have vision boards, you know, leave some uh tips or whatever to help me and help everybody else. You know what I'm saying? And uh, continue to turn it into mo. Continue to turn it into mo. So look, definitely hit that like button. Uh, share the video with somebody because you might help change somebody's life by simply sharing the video. So hit that like, share the video. Uh. Leave your thoughts down below. And definitely, don't forget to turn it in the mode. We up and going, we gon' turn it in the mode. We bring the cash flowing, then we turn it in the mode. No way of running low, cause we gon' turn it in the mode. Yeah, all I know is stack it, flip it. I told them I ain't got it, now they 